Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for watching Loving It on Phuket. In this video, we're going to take a look at the infamous Copacabana Beach and what it was like to visit it back in 2020 when the COVID pandemic was in full swing. We will also talk about how safe it is to visit Copacabana Beach. And if you are planning a trip, what are the best times and days to go? To get to Copacabana Beach, we have to head down to South America to Brazil. Brazil is the largest country on the continent. The city of Rio de Janeiro, where Copacabana is located, is one of the most visited areas in the country. Copacabana Beach is a massive area stretching about 4 kilometers or 2.2 miles from one end to the other. Many tourists and locals enjoy visiting the beach even during the pandemic. The times you really want to avoid are on holidays and weekends, when it becomes very crowded by residents in the area. The Copacabana Palace Hotel, probably the most famous landmarks on the beach. If you have ever heard the song Copacabana, this is what it was written about. At the end of Copacabana Beach, before a Panama, is Copacabana Fort. It is a fully operational military base as well as a museum. But don't count on learning too much if you go and you don't speak Portuguese. For some reason in Rio, they encourage tourism but forget that most visitors do not speak the language. Don't let that deter you. Fort Copacabana is still a very interesting place to check out. There are several activities you can join in on at Copacabana Beach itself. Although I didn't enjoy swimming there because the surf is too rough and the water is very cold compared to what I'm used to, you can always go for a dip. Badminton seems to be one of the preferred sports played in the sands, as well as beach volleyball and a version of volleyball played soccer style with the feet and head. Although there isn't a huge crowd of tourists like there once was, there are many shops open to grab a bite to eat. If you need a hat or souvenir, there are many vendors lining the wave-patterned walk that stretches the length of the beach. If you stroll along the shores, you'll find many decorations as well. When we went for a walk closer to the Christmas holiday, we found lots of art made in the sand by locals. During the week, the beach was mostly empty in comparison to weekends and holidays. This is the ideal time to go if you're planning a trip and want to avoid the crowds. But once the weekends and holidays come around, you're best to choose another activity besides the beach. This is when the locals will come in droves and social distancing becomes not as easy. The evenings at Copacabana Beach are fairly quiet, but there is a higher risk of petty crime at this time and it is not recommended to visit after dark. Copacabana Beach by far is not the nicest beach in Rio de Janeiro and it is very commercialized. I would recommend a visit just to say you were there. It's far from being a paradise, but it is most definitely a famous beach. Thanks for watching Loving It on Phuket. Don't forget to like, subscribe and enable notifications so you'll know when the next video is posted. In the meantime, check out some of these other great videos from Phuket, Thailand, Southeast Asia, and beyond. Happy traveling!